Vadu. America, all over up New Zealand. It's amazing, really. It's yeah, it's nice. That. Too expensive for me. Oops. That sounds like I quite like that. It goes nicely with that raw rubber. It goes really nice with uh, magenta. Chuck a bit of that on there. That's expensive as well. green this time. For a change, I'll put that in there. We'll try that. So we've got everything. Is that still wet from the other day? Yeah. I get away with that. It's a bit more out. Just the black to go. Ivory black. Chuck that on there. We won't bother with uh, Naples yellow today. I think we've got everything we need. We're going to lucky turps. Just for wetting the brush and a bit of brush cleaning. I'm going to stick some of this. Medium out as well, tiny bit of that. That's uh, <coughs> linseed oil and turps mixture. Right, tight knife. Action. Action. Take five. Uh, right. Come down to Durgan. Helford River is Helford is over there. You can see it directly over there. Too many boats for my liking, but uh, we're going to try and paint this uh, little 
little section over there. So I'm going to have a go at painting that. The sky's gone a bit grey and the wind's just starting to pick up. So I think we're going to have some fun. And we're going to get going now before it gets dark. Okay, right, let's go. Let's try and get some... Uh... Just try and... Well, that doesn't, that's changed over that side because it's, uh, it is actually brighter over that side. Let's work out where that uh, little bit's going to drop down into. So if we want that, we want that to come across here. Like that, and that's where that headland is. There's like a little uh, lump on the end there. See, last other time we were around the corner there recently, it's Frenchman's Creek, around there. So that's that bit. That bit comes down like that. That can drop down. And that's like that. And then we'll have this uh, water can. That's too high. Right, that's going to have to come in a bit more like this. That's the wrong colour. You, you choose, you're very good at that. We just want to make a few marks where this, while this water has got these highlights on it before it disappears. Because we've done that before, we've been here before, up the hill behind us. Oil bar sketch it had to be really quick then because the light was going, wasn't it? If you look on the uh, if you look up to this corner of the screen, <laughs> there will be a link <laughs> to that video. <laughs> Let's just get some of that in there. At this point the uh, oils on the board are, are very wet so it's really quite a difficult technique now, it's all wet into wet a la prima and the light was changing quite dramatically as well, it's gone from quite a bright sunshine lit sunny evening to a uh, fairly grey and then it became sunny again so it was very changeable and loads of boats which is not my favourite subject but uh, it was quite a challenge, it was a good challenge, I enjoyed it. It's always nice to be outside Let's painting. Get that. That's quite nice actually. Yeah, I like that. That's oh, just come out. Put that up there then, see it's going to stand out quite nice. The wind howling through my easel. The gaps in the easel, Summer's suddenly changed like winter. Uh, this is, I'm going to condense that in a little bit. Let's try that, I've got that bit lighter. I can just drop that there. And that, and that just needs to come up there a little bit. And start to lift up. And then go up there, we can change the colour of that in a minute. Let's just Better with that. Uh, just snow water that goes in there, you see. That's 
retriever. Never easy, is it? No, it's never easy, especially when you've got uh, changeable conditions like this and quite a howling wind coming up through the river. Very, and the wind kept changing direction as well, it was playing havoc with the mic on the phone. Here I'm just marking some of the green fields I could see on that hillside before they sort of disappeared as the sun starts to drop down and creates like a dark silhouette. Dark and all that. So it's a case of trying to mark in things while they were there. Dark in there. Maybe not that dark, but I need something to contrast with that. Uh, otherwise we have no darks. And it comes across there, that's quite dark up there. It's changed now, the sun's just come round. It's light, starting to light that area up a little bit. It's still muted, quite grey. Bit of sun on it up there, just a tiny little bit up there, just down there like that, one down there. It's amazing how often I end up painting into the sun, I suppose it's because it's the evenings I tend to go out most, and the sun's fairly low at that point. And I just find that sometimes that's the, the most interesting uh, view and the colours are quite nice and muted, suits my palette line. I need to get that colour of that, that beach over there, it's quite a tricky one that. Let's just knock it back a little bit. Basil enjoying his little uh, potter around in the long grass. That water over there has definitely got some green in it, but I don't want it to go too dark. Here I'm just uh, trying to mark in some of those areas where the current is changing the shapes. This, this side definitely is a different colour because of all the, the grey in the sky there. That's not it's quite dark. These are sort of things you can adjust when you're in the studio, a lot easier when it's dry. And so it's good to have a stand back and look at what you're uh, what you're doing regularly and to see how it's shaping up. Lighten up a bit now. So you've got to do all this uh, water, all this has got to be done before you can even start to put any boats in. And then you can see some of the currents, like an S shape, quite nice shapes. It's going to darken this water a little bit on this side. And of course all these uh, colours and tones are all changing as the sun changes, uh, moves around and the light changes. I've got that big pack of brushes I bring with me and I probably only use three brushes for the whole painting. But you can never have enough brushes. Another one while I'm looking into the sunset. Green, that water is quite green. There is a little bit behind there, you can't really see it. 
There's the rigger brush coming back into play again, just to fiddle around on the, the uh, edge of the hillside. Just a few boats in. I can start putting some boats in with the rigger at the far in the distance there, just marking some greys. A bit more like that. Yeah, it's not, they're not all, uh, there's a few over there, but... And you can start having a few dotted around in here. That's quite a nice one, that's quite a nice one there. You can make that a bit darker because it's closer. Moved it round just as I was about to do it. That one has just got a bit of like that. Like that. This one's got a little dinghy by the side of it. If the wind lets me, it's blowing my arm all over the place now. I told you I should have put these in sooner. <laughs> the wind's picked up. And, uh, so yeah, every so often there's a little one really glistens as it turns, doesn't it? And you can see like a bright light comes over. Here I'm just marking in some of the uh, shapes, just general impressions, shapes of the boats with, with, with off whites that I constantly mix up on the palette. Now you see how many boats were moulded up there. Way too many for my liking. That's got a quite a mast on it. That one is uh, this boat here is a bit of a mess. Because it's mo keeps moving. doing these. So here I'm just uh, putting in some final marks on this wet surface. There's only so far you can go before it just becomes too wet at this stage to continue. And obviously the conditions, of the lights change, conditions are getting a bit worse, the wind's picking up, it's getting quite chilly. things you sort of have to do when it's dried a bit, to be honest. No, that's your green there. I'll just put a few random ones in there, I think. Make that into a boat now. <laughs> that's why I love oil paint. It's uh, you can so flexible, you can make adjustments 
all the way through where I think acrylic would have probably dried quite firmly by that point and uh, those sort of corrections are not possible I don't think with acrylic there's oils so you can uh, yeah, make adjustments for a long time afterwards because they take so long to dry I think that's why I like them so much and obviously the richness of the colour hint at them there paint this little bit in and we're going to call it a day because it's got quite uh, chilly in the wind and uh, so we're just going to fill this in where the plant was on the board and uh, I think we'll call that a day now Halford River from Durgan, looking towards Halford. Thanks very much. Good evening. <laughs> And here is the finished painting in the studio, it's on my studio easel and you can see I just made more corrections to the sky, lightened that to the right hand side and worked on the hillside at the back where the river swings round and just built up the boats a little bit more with some uh, thicker impasto colours and I used the side of a palette knife just to help highlight some of the masts. Well, I hope you enjoyed that uh, fun video, Helford River. Thanks for watching and bye for now.